Brief on the interpretation of the Holy Quran, page 46 of the Quran. And what you have spent from the expense or vow of a vow, God knows him and the supporters of the oppressors, 270, if you show almsgiving, then forgive it, and if you hide it and bring it to the poor, it is good for you and atone for you from your misdeeds and God by what you work as an expert, 271, you do not have to guide them, but God guides whomever he wants and what you spend of good for yourselves and what you spend only for the sake of the face of God and what you spend from the good of. Jove to you and you do not oppress, 272, to the poor who have been confined for the sake of Allah they cannot beat the earth counted by the ignorant rich people of chastity you know by their own name do not ask people for a quilt and what good they have spent, God is aware of it, 273. Those who spend their money day and night secretly and openly have their wages with their Lord and there is no fear for them and they are not grievances. 274. Two seventy. What little or much of the expense you have spent in order to please God, or you have committed yourself to an act of obedience to God from yourselves that you have not been entrusted with, God knows all this, so that nothing of it is lost in him and for which you will be rewarded with the greatest reward, and not for the oppressors who forbid what they must, the transgressors of God, have supporters for whom they pay the torment of the day of judgment. 271. If you show your almsgiving with money, then yes charity is your charity, and if you hide it and give it to the poor, it is better for you than to show it, because it is closer to sincerity. In the alms of the saviors, their sins will be covered up and forgiven, and God by what you are doing is an expert, nothing is hidden from your circumstances. 272. You do not have to guide them, O prophet, to accept the truth, obey it and bring them to it, but you must refer them to the truth and introduce them to it, for the reconciliation of the truth and guidance to it is in the hands of God, and he guides whomever he wishes. And what you spend of good is due to you, because God is rich in it, and let your maintenance be pure to God, for believers really spend only to seek God's favor, and what you spend of good little or much, you give his reward completely and undiminished, God does not oppress anyone. When he mentioned spending in his way and called the believers to him among the banks in which they spend, he said, 273 make it for the poor who have been prevented by jihad for the sake of Allah from traveling for He mentioned spending in his way and called the believers to him among the banks in which they spend, he said, 273 make it for the poor who have been prevented by jihad for the sake of Allah from traveling for a living, the ignorant thinks of their situation as rich to absolve them of the question and the one familiar with them knows their signs, from the apparent need on their bodies and clothes, and from their qualities that they are not like all the other poor who ask people urgently. In their matter, and what money and others they have spent, God is aware of it, and will reward you for it the greatest reward. 274. Those who spend their money in order to please God day and night, secretly and openly without hypocrisy or reputation, have their rewards with their Lord on the day of judgment, have no fear for them in what they receive from their command, and they do not grieve for what they have missed from the world, as well as from God and grace. One of the benefits of the Verses, if the believer is saved in his expenses and almsgiving, there is nothing wrong with him showing them and hiding them according to interest, although hiding is more rewarding and rewarding because it is closer to fidelity. Calling on believers to pay attention and care to those in need who are prevented by chastity from showing their condition and asking people. The legitimacy of spending for the sake of Allah the Almighty at all times and times, and the greatness of its rewards, as the Almighty promised it the greatest reward in the world and the afterlife. 146th